there are better ways to find appropriate flow coefficient for each operating point. Usually we are using a PID controllers which can be found un under the components pane, base control and data and PID controller. When I drag and drop PID controller inside, you will see that it also have a red cross. This is basically a data, data check error. That port actual value must be connected. This is a data bus channel. So the PID controller always needs information about the actual value, the actual signal that we are observing, comparing to desired one. So also desired value will be connected. PID controller will try to reduce the error between the actual and desired value by changing the output value. So in our case, the actual value will be the mass flow coming from a restriction component and desired value coming from the constant block. We can also see now the signal flow if we hover over the PID controller uh, diagonal pin we can see the desired value is coming from the constant one desired mass flow and the actual value from restriction one upstream mass flow. Now the output needs to be connected. The output will be basically a flow coefficient. If we take a look, the flow coefficient is already connected to the monitor. Yeah? It is coming from the monitor component. If I would like to connect flow coefficient to the PID controller and I click on connect or I click on the output value you will see now that the connection is changed the monitor output is automatically disabled and now the flow coefficient is coming from PID controller so when I, whatever under the input data bus connection is it can go only to one single it can only come from one single component but the output can go to several components currently it is going to monitor and to the PID controller so the PID controller has also some of the inputs it has P I and D parameter these are basically PID gains that defines PID controller response and under output limitation we can define the limitation of our output value in our case our output value is flow coefficient so we have a ratio unit group from 0 to 1 the only remaining question is how to define the PID gains the first estimation that you can use is simply um, using uh, following logic. We know that actual value is around 0 0.3 or 0 0.2. Our output value is between 0 and 1, so flow coefficient is between 0 and 1. So let's say uh, 1. And the first estimation, so parameter estimation, is always defined as the output divided by input, or in my case, actual value. If I calculate this, this is basically 1 divided by 0 0.2, which is 5. So my first, estima first estimation of the P and I parameter are 5. The next thing is to define the negative or a positive sign of the gain. If the logic is linear, that means increasing, so if the, uh, if the logic is uh, is by increasing the flow coefficient will also increase the mass flow uh, the sign is positive if the logic is reversed that means increasing of the output value will decrease the actual value 
in this case the PID controller gains are negative. So in our case the value will be positive. Just use integral parameter. My starting value was 5, this is what I calculated on hand. One additional thing I have to mention, and you always have to take this in mind, the PID controller is um, using only SI units. That means uh, kilogram per second, pascals for the pressure, kelvins for temperature. So it would, if we would have the pressure, the actual value will be around one bar. So this, for the mass flow, we would have this situation. If we would control, for example, pressure, by changing the wastegate or VTG position, for example, of the turbine, then the actual value would be around 10,000 pascals or 10,000 and the output value will be 1. That means the actual value here it will be changed to 10,000. That means the parameter estimation will be 1 to the power of 1 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of plus 5 minus 5 sorry and usually for the controlling the pressure with the wastegate or the VTG by reducing the wastegate uh, area we are increasing the pressure so usually for the pressure control uh, turbocharger we always have negative values and with the parameter or the gains in this range. So now my estimation is 5. I will just run the simulation and you will see what happens. Because I'm not considering the proportional part now, the behavior should not oscillate. So here is the behavior of the integral part. Integral part is basically integrating the difference over time and providing this integral of the difference as the output value. Because the integral between two curves is always higher because simply of the difference of the both of the curves, we will end up at some point uh, at matching both of the curves. Now we can also see response from here we can see that from fully converged solution it take around 5 seconds. If we want to increase the behavior we simply increase the parameter. Usually I do that by the factor of 10 and just run the simulation to see what happens. If the gains are too high the model will simply again start to oscillate. For such simple model it is very simple we can increase the parameters quite high and they will still be uh, stable and also the solution so the time to which we go to the solution is very very low so in this case we are already at fully converged solution at 0 0.15 seconds in such manner we can really check the PID controller also, we can take a look how it behaves together, proportional and in integral part. Let's do something like that, run the simulation. Maybe the gains are now too high. But we can see that both of them are also behaving okay. If we go to result step, I will show you what I am always plotting in terms of the PID controller. So I am having a page dividing the page to four sections. On one side of the, of the screen I am plotting actual and desired value from the PID controller. In this case I am seeing if actual and desired value are matching and this is the chart I always want to see. 
the output value is the output value of the PID controller and this is basically my flow coefficient. You see that it is almost 0 0.67 as obtained from the monitor. The output value is always constructed uh, with two parts. Two parts I mean because we have differential parameter gain set as zero. Basically in reality it is constructed uh, with three parts. As a proportional part, as an integral part and as a differential part. Differential part will not have any contribution to the output value. Proportional part will basically just multiply the difference with the gain and return this as an output channel. While integral part will basically integrate the difference between both of the curves and return the integral part as a flow coefficient. The sum of all of those is basically the output value. So you can see that the output value is very very close to integral part. There is all uh, there is small difference. How to zoom in certain section in this chart? We can use scroll to zoom in zoom out. We can right click and move around to uh, change the location of the curves and using shift button and left mouse button click you can select desired range you want to observe. So I want to observe this section. This is my proportional part, my output value, so flow coefficient and integral part. Output value is basically a sum of proportional and integral part. Differential part is here neglectable because it is zero, because the gain is zero. And these are the basics of the PID controller. Of course, more advanced topics are where you have a transient simulation and desired value changes over time. The next videos you can show, you can see are also present in the application area of the PID controllers.